Around here we go by two rules. Never trust a fart and never trust Lane Hudson, especially on the ice. This guy is as deceptive as a five year old trying to get a cookie from the cookie jar. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a compilation of highlights that I took from his intra squad game yesterday because I thought he was one of the best players on the ice. He was paired up with 2023 fifth overall pick David Reinbacker and I thought that they looked really good together. They complemented each other's game really well. They like to pinch in on the play, they're kind of all over the place. But the reason why Hudson is so dangerous, you know, despite being on the small side, please don't tell him I said that, is because of his shiftiness. I noticed yesterday quite a few times that he's got the ability to just make his opponents freeze. You know what I mean? And while it might look like he casts a spell on them and just turns them into stone, it's actually a combination of his quick hands and deceptive footwork that just freaks everybody out. <laughs> it's insane, man. It, it, it really is. I'm also pretty confident that he's going to be able to pull this kind of stuff off in the NHL as well. He's definitely got the skills, he knows how to use them to his advantage, and whenever this guy is ready to jump into the Habs roster, whether it's one year from now or two years from now, I think that he could potentially be the most exciting offensive defenseman that the Canadians have had since P.K. Subban. <laughs> I'm not saying he's going to be as good, but what I am saying is that he's going to be exciting. Now, I also thought that Mayu looked really good during yesterday's game. Uh, Reinbacker had some good looks as well. He almost actually scored a couple of goals due to some slick passes from Lane Hudson, and it was really nice seeing these two paired together. I think this is a combo that could work out really well in the future. It was also nice seeing Adam Engstrom play as well. I mean, this is a guy that we don't get to see a whole lot of, but just based upon what I seen yesterday, he's already better than what I originally thought. But you know what? Here's where it gets tricky, okay? And a lot of you guys aren't going to agree with me. But when I look at the Habs prospect pool right now, it's kind of funny. Because the true standouts, in my opinion, there are defensemen. They look great on the back end. Mayu, Hudson, Popcorn, Engstrom. These are four guys that could potentially have an impact in the NHL one day. But as for forwards, when you're watching them, there's just nobody that really slaps you across the face and says hey i'm gonna play in the top six you know what i mean i'm not writing any of these guys off i'm not saying that they're not capable of being top six forwards but i'm just being realistic here and i don't see anybody grabbing the ball by the horns up front and giving us a reason to get overly excited now i did like what i seen from joshua Wawa, owen bick and philip majer yesterday these guys are all solid prospects i'm hoping even one of them can pan out and be a top six player i'm looking at you Wawa, but i wouldn't be willing to bid any money on it just yet i'm just saying if you want a, an honest opinion from me and i'm grading the prospect pool right now i'm giving the defense a solid a and maybe giving the forwards a c plus but you can let me know what you think down in the comment section. Did you watch the game yesterday? And if so, who were the standouts from your perspective? Don't forget to snap, crackle, pop the like button before you leave here. And hey, see you next time.